we just had a post from Jocko uh, over in America asking how you tie a loop on the end of a banjo string. He sent a very fine example of his work. But I'd show you a simple way. Uh, lots of people suggest things like bow lines, going online to look for how the ancient people did it with all sorts of knots and special things. It's dead easy. Particularly if you're using the old style classic banjo tail pieces, even the no knots where you've got a peg sticking out at the back or a hook, and all you want is a hoop to go around it. Um, the no knot itself using nylon strings, if you go through the no knot and turn around the edge and come around it again, it's going to break and you'll end up with loads of string breaks. This way I don't think I've ever had a string break on me. You take an ordinary banjo string, I'll use a piece of wire to start with to show you what I'm doing. Approximately three inches from the end, this is all scaled up of course, just fold it in half. Now that is going to make the hoop that goes around your peg. Then, literally just tie a knot in it. A simple knot. There you have the hoop. I have a special handy gadget that I use, which is actually a piece of wood with a nail in it. And you can put the hoop round it and pull it tight, tighten up the end. That now will go around the end of your tailpiece and tighten up, as you can see in the photograph. Actually doing it on a small piece of nylon it's more difficult to see here, that's why I didn't do it. The same principle again, about three inches from the end, form a little hoop, just literally take it around and tie a knot in itself. You can waddle the nylon so that the hoop itself is near the end and again using your handy piece of wood but this time scaled down, put it on there Pull the loose end to tighten that up, 